Hello, hello, this is your girl, Samantha Burgos, and welcome to the Feel Better Naked Radio, where together we will practice how to feel better naked via self-exploration. Here I will discuss all things body, mind, and soul. I'm going to keep it super real on fitness, plant-based eating, and holistic living. Let's get sexy on the inside and the outside. Hello, hello, and welcome to a Fear Bear Naked Radio. This is your host, Samantha. And guys, this is our last episode of 2020. Holy shit. Um, I personally like am really excited about this episode because the idea behind this episode stemmed from a really funny place. Shout out to Off the Strength. And uh, if you guys haven't checked out the podcast, definitely check it out. Um, and also because my really good friend, Jeevan, he got me this amazing podcast mic set up and like, I just feel so fucking official and cool now. Like I almost want to do two shows a week now, which I really might consider for 2021. Um, but in this episode, I'm going to recap 2020, give you guys three lessons that I learned, main lessons, because girl, there's been a bunch, main lessons I learned in 2020 and how to set up goals in 2021 the feel better naked way. So stay tuned guys. So the really funny story with me doing the idea of this 2020 recap episode stemmed from, because I told them I would be very transparent about shit. So (laughs) this for you guys, my office strength peeps, um, I got to sit with them and uh, I cannot wait for the episode to release, but I got to sit with them for their podcast. And um, basically, I canceled my podcast episode very last minute. But because I canceled my podcast, uh, sit down with them, they got to record a 2020 recap episode, which therefore inspired me to do one as well. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I believe in divine timing and I believe everything happens for a reason. So that was a blessing in disguise in itself. But yes, shout out to them. If you guys don't follow me on IG, I will post when that episode comes out on my Instagram. Follow me at Sammy underscore Burgos. So S-A-M-I underscore B-U-R-G-O-S. So yeah, but 2020, you guys, what a fucking year. (laughs) What a year. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. Like, what a year. Um, so much lessons learned the difficult way, but such a blessing. And I wouldn't do this year. I, I wouldn't take this year back for anything. Like this is one of the best years of my life. Um, and yeah, the three main lessons I learned, I think the first lesson I learned is you have to build that relationship with you. I learned that you know, I've always known that, but I think there has been circumstances, um, you know, due to COVID and quarantine that obviously allowed the space for me to build a deeper bond with myself because your girl lives alone and there was no one else to hang out with. (laughs) So after a while, FaceTime and Zoom parties and house party got a little, eh. so, um, I got to spend time on myself a lot and I definitely got closer, closer to myself and, I'm just so grateful for that because I think for the first time in my entire life as a 29 year old woman, I could say I feel whole, you know, and I don't, I don't need anything from anyone. Like I have myself and, um, I don't, you know, I've probably could have said that before, but I've never truly felt it. Like I feel it now. And I hope next year I could say the same thing that I've, feel it more then than I do now because that would mean that I'm just growing deeper and deeper um deeper of a connection with myself so that's the biggest lesson I learned like that's number one for sure um building that solid relationship with yourself is serious uh the second one I've learned is that your community is probably the most important thing and influential thing in your life um because This year, more than ever, I've noticed how blessed I am. And I learned that, you know, karma's real. 
in the best way too. You know, when you're good to people, that comes back to you. When you're kind, that comes back to you. When you're loving, that comes back to you. All that. And I've never, you know, I've always been a really giving person, but this year I learned that I'm just the luckiest person to have built, you know, a community around me that actually cares about me. You know, um, I think that being aware of which relationships you feed and what value they bring to your life in exchange for the value you're bringing to their life is critical. It's literally critical. Um, and I think we've always known like, oh, no bad vibes or like, you know, watch out who you hang out with, blah, blah. But I think this year, since the time, you know, we actually got to choose who we contact more than ever. You know, like we didn't really leave our houses for a moment. We didn't really, you know, have to go to work or have to talk to our coworkers or have to build bonds. Like, I think it kind of showed who really mattered to you, you know, and why. So that's definitely something I learned this year that like your circles and who you invest in is truly important um, in all sense. And having a community is also very important. And maybe the most important lesson, (laughs) I mean, like aren't they all, but I think this is truly an important one is you have to have your foundation stable. And that means your body stable, your mind stable, your soul stable, your finances stable, your community, all that. You need to have all that locked down because if anything, this year proved that at any moment, anything can happen. And if we have that foundation on lock, Nothing can move us, nothing can shake us, and nothing can break us out of anything that we don't want to be broken out of, you know? And again, I do know challenging times like this do bring out a lot of great things, so that's why I'm really grateful as well. But that's definitely a lesson I learned this year. You know, I got a lot of things, um, just things didn't work out as planned, but it was also, I think, for the best in the end, you know? But now... To the fun stuff of how to set up your goals for 2021, the feel better naked way. And this is something I'm really excited to talk about. Um, Basically, guys, we all know we have to set up goals for 2021 because, you know, like it's just the whole New Year's resolution thing. But I think that a great way to when it comes to your self-care, to your wellness um, is to break down your goals, the feel better naked way, which is focusing on the mind, the body, and the soul and making individual goals in each of those categories. So for example, your body, what do you you like list three things you want to accomplish for your body? Me personally, I want to continue lifting weights and incorporating some sort of cardio with it. So for example, running, um, or okay, never treadmill running y'all. So relax, never treadmill running, (laughs) but, um, running outside or biking too, um, depending on the season, depending on what's happening. I realized that it's really brought a beautiful um, balance to my exercise regimen. So I definitely want to keep that going. I also want to incorporate more mobility and more stretching into my body because that's serving me big time. It's allowing me to get better lifts in. It's allowing me to recover faster. And it's allowing me to still twerk, y'all. Because sometimes when you're lifting weights, you get a little stiff. And I'm still trying to shake this ass. So... Um, it's been a vibe. So definitely more stretching. And I think third, I want to start incorporating things such such as massages, uh, acupuncture, um, cupping, just things to like physically heal my body more. Um, I used to be really into like acupuncture and cupping, but then COVID hit and everything shut down. Um, but I do, and I am a firm believer that, our body stores energy blocks and all that stuff. And I definitely want to work on that, getting you know into Reiki maybe, um, just e- experimenting and learning more about physical ways to heal our body um, when it comes to energy. So that's for the body. For the mind, I want to work on meditation, get uh, more into that and make that more consistent, start working on taking them longer. You know, I usually do 10 minutes, but I want to work on making it 15, 20, half an hour, you know. Um, And I want to learn more, second, I want to learn more about biohacking my brain. (laughs) I want to start working on ways or learning ways to 
just improve my memory, um, just also f- learn on how that actually works. That way I can maneuver and change things in my life that work in my favor. You know, maybe there's things I'm doing that aren't uh, improving that. I'm sure smoking marijuana is not helping, but we will find other ways to hack the brain because your girl loves a good J. And <laughs> sleeping for my mind. I need to sleep. Uh, that's one thing I want to focus on in 2021, improving my sleep quality and getting a lot of it. Um, and also just really working on keeping it consistent when it comes to my bedtimes and my wake up times. So that's that goal. And for my soul, I want to first improve on a uh, learn more about chakras. And I've really gotten into that, but I want to, um, learn more about them and incorporate them even in the feel better naked membership. Um, you know, like I think these are really important ways to connect to our soul and our energy and, um, kind of understanding what those things are and how we can heal them. Uh, another thing I want to also incorporate more for my soul are listening to certain tones and frequencies that help heal the soul and help heal our energy and all that stuff that really help us, um, just clear out the body, you know, like our soul is a lot of, it's a lot going on there. We got to clear that shit out. <laughs> and the last thing for my soul is to take time to feed it. I want to make sure that I do daily things that feed my soul, whether that's laughing, going on a hike, going for a walk, going, just doing things that make me genuinely happy for myself. But that also starts with having to explore who I am and what makes me happy. Um, So yeah, this year, you guys, you know, that's why I always say the feel better naked, like it's not a destination, it's a journey. Um, As I progress and I grow as a woman and get older, these things will always change, you know, and that's part of life. Life is never a dead end. It's like an ongoing thing. Um, But yeah, I really encourage you guys to definitely approach your journey in that sense. Like write down three things for your body you want to work on, uh, three things for your mind and three things for your soul. And uh, and kind of like, you know, doing it that way really, really gives you more clarity versus saying, oh, I just want to lose weight or, oh, I want to get fit or I want to live whatever. Like there's more to life than just losing weight because there's more to you, you know? Um, so yeah, I really hope this episode kind of encourage you guys to approach this because as a coach, I honestly feel like women are so hard on themselves. And when it comes to even body, it's always such a physical thing, you know, but there's more to it, you know, there's more to your body than just losing weight or looking a certain way. Um, if you guys are looking for a way to, start your 2021 that's not literally just a fitness plan a meal plan that there's so much more to it really consider looking into feel better naked this club honestly is just progressively getting better because i've just realized that as i go on and i work with more clients like what things really help people feel better naked um so we separate everything between by body mind and soul so we work on all that each month in different ways. And that's what I love to do. Like that's why I think really just want to change the entire world. Um, cause fitness plans are great. Losing weight is great, but how about our minds, right? How about our souls? Like those all play into, into, into part, into our lives. So if you guys have not checked out the fear by naked membership, make sure you do. Um, I'll have the link below, but most importantly, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away two free memberships to you and your friends. So make sure you guys sign up for this membership. I will be linking the exact post in my stories for the next few days, every day until the new year comes, because obviously. (laughs) So um, yes, sign up. You have a chance to get a free month of this. And at least it could be a workout plan or a kickstart or something to light a fire under your ass to help you really start focusing on yourself and again, give you a little bit of structure on approaching everything from the body, mind, and soul perspective. So make sure to check out my stories, follow me at Sammy underscore Burgos. And I'm just so excited to see who's going to get this damn free membership because I'm just, I'm just so excited. I love giving things away. So 
And with that being said, you guys, we have concluded the final episode of the Feel Better Naked podcast in 2020. Like, holy shit, we have a new year coming up. It is still a new time, although it is a unknown time, but it's a new time. And I think 2020 has shown me the most. We have the ability to create wherever the fuck we want. And we get to choose our own realities. So let's make 2021 the best year of our fucking lives. Talk to you guys next year. Have an amazing new year. And yeah. Bye.